G'day guys, welcome back. In this video I've got a fairly new and fairly weird type of math puzzle for you. 500 humans are at war with 500 zombies. And in this war we're going to assume the following. We're going to assume humans die at a rate proportional to the number of zombies. So another way of saying that is dh dt is equal to minus 3z, where z is the amount of zombies at any instant, and h is the amount of humans at that same instant, and minus 3 is just your proportionality constant just here. And also assume all dead humans convert to zombies, and zombies die at a rate proportional to humans. So another way of writing that is dz dt is equal to 3z minus 5h. And my question for you is find z as a function of t and who wins the war? All right, have a shot at this yourself first, then come back when you're done. All right, well, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to somehow get z in an equation by itself. And as you can see, there's no easy way to do that unless we differentiate this bottom guy just here. So let's do that. If we were to differentiate that bottom expression, we're left with z double dot on the left hand side is equal to 3z dot minus 5h dot like that. And now we can substitute h dot, which is dh dt, for minus 3z. So let's do that. We're left with z double dot is going to be equal to 3z dot minus 5 times by dh dt, which is minus 3z like this. And so what this and this is quite interesting because this shows that to solve for z we need to solve a second order linear differential equation which is going to be z double dot minus 3 z dot minus 15 z is going to be equal to 0 okay so in order to solve this second order differential equation we need to guess a solution and i'm going to guess the solution z is equal to e to the lambda t like this and this is what happens when we plug this guess into this equation. We'll be left with the characteristic equation lambda squared minus 3 lambda minus 15 is going to be equal to 0. And this shows that there are two um, real roots. And let me prove that for you. Lambda is going to be equal to um, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a like this and when you go through the maths and plug it into your calculator you can show that one value of lambda is going to be 5.65 and the other value of lambda is going to be equal to minus 2.65 you can plug that into your calculator if you don't believe me and so what this shows us is that the generalized solution for the number of zombies at any instant of time is going to be equal to a, some um, constant a, times e to the 5.65t plus b, e to the minus 2.65t, like this. Okay, awesome. So now what we need to do is we need to plug in initial conditions to solve for these constants a and b just here. Now, what are our initial conditions? Well, we know when t is equal to zero, that's when we're starting our experiment, we know that the amount of zombies is going to be equal to 500, and the amount of humans is going to be equal to 500 as well. So we can actually plug this into this expression directly and say that 500 is going to be equal to a times by 1, that's what happens when t is equal to zero, plus b like that. Now, unfortunately, this isn't enough information to solve for both the constants a and b. We need more information. So we're going to use this guy again. And so what I need to do is I need to differentiate z with respect to time and then plug in t is equal to 0. So let's do that. dz dt, when time is equal to 0, is going to be equal to, um, bring this guy forward, it's going to be 5.65a, plug in t is equal to 0, this turns to 1, minus... 2.65b and then plug t is equal to 0 and you get 1 there as well, okay? And we know that's going to be equal to um, 3 times 500 minus 5 times 500. So 3 times 500 minus 5 times 500. Now I won't bore you with the mathematics, but if you were to solve for a and b, then you would get z is going to be equal to a, which would be 39.3 
um, e to the 5.65t and b turned out to be 460.67 and then we times that by e to the minus 2.65t like this. And so we've got it. We've got a, an expression for the amount of zombies with respect to time just here. And it's amazing, it involves the numerical constant E, which completely blows my mind. And now that we've done that, now let's answer the more interesting question, who wins the war? But first, let me resize what I've got here. Alright, now before I get started on directly solving this second question, let's actually find an expression for the amount of humans as a function of time as well, by solving this differential equation just here. We know that h can be easily found as the integral of minus 3z dt, right? So we just need to integrate this guy with respect to time and times it by minus 3 and we get h as a function of time. And if you were to do that, and I won't bore you with the mathematics, you would get h is equal to minus 20.87 e to the 5.65t plus 520.87 e to the minus 2.65t, like this. And so we have h as a function of time too. Now, how can we find out who wins the war based off these two expressions? Well, one way we could do it is we can solve for h is equal to zero, and then see if there's a time value that actually makes sense. And if there is, that means there is um, an instant where there are no humans, which means that they lose the war. So let's do that. Let's solve for, let's solve for h is equal to zero and let's see if we get a t value that makes sense. Well, if you do that, you're left with zero is equal to minus 20.87 e to the 5.65t um, plus 520.87 e to the minus 2.65t like this. And then what we can do is we can times both sides of this expression by e to the positive 2.65t. And what we're left with is 0 is equal to minus 20.87 e to the 8.3t. That's what happens when you add these two guys. Um, plus 520.87 like this. And if you were to solve for t... Right, which you could do by subtracting this guy over, dividing by this guy, and logging both sides, you will get that t is equal to 0 0.387 units of time, whatever they may be. Maybe it'll be years to make it realistic. Right, so that means when t is equal to 0 0.837, that means h is going to be equal to 0, which means sadly all humans are dead when t is equal to 0 0.837. So that's the results just here. And if you plug that back into this value, you can show that the amount of zombies remaining, so zombies remaining, zombies remaining when the humans lose, when the humans lose is 516 just here. So, hu so humans lose and zombies win and there's 516 zombies at the end of the war. Now before I finish this video, I just want to show you this fantastic piece of software which actually plots this war just here for us. So as you can see, we've got a vector field just here and I've plotted the amount of humans versus the amount of zombies just here. And all I need to do is give this guy an initial condition to start this off. So for example, if I were to plug in 500 humans and 500 zombies, which would be right here, then look what happens. Bam. Um, so as you can see, as the war progresses, the amount of humans and zombies both decrease, but it comes to a threshold when zombies have converted enough humans that they're able to just swarm their human counterparts and completely win with 516 zombies at the very end. And the best thing about the software is we can play this battle out in multiple different scenarios. So for example, if there were 200 fewer zombies and 500 humans, then the humans will convincingly win just here. But for example, if there were any other value, maybe there was 300 zombies and 400 humans to begin with, then humans would win like this, and you can just keep playing around like I have done just here. Anyway, I hope that made sense, guys. I hope you really liked that video. It was a little bit fun, a little bit stupid, but I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.